I think today has just really kicked on the excitement. I think seeing all you guys here and seeing all the media that are interested and in how we're going to do and what the expectations are. And look, I think playing a World Cup's the pinnacle of your career and fortunate enough to play in two previously. And um, this will be my third one, uh, second one leading out the Lionesses. So for me, super excited, super proud to be part of this group because I feel as though we've got something special going on and we've got to make sure that over the next couple of weeks, we get our preparation spot on, ready to go against Scotland in the, uh, come the 9th of June. Well, like you said, you think you have something special going on right now, and it is a great time for football and women in sports as well. Um, if you could just put your finger on one thing that you would think gives this England squad the, the edge or the X factor going into this World Cup, what would it be? I think for us, we're hard to beat. I think it's something that, um, in the terms of a physicality way, we're, we're all strong, we're all fit, we uh, put our bodies on the line, but... Even a mentality way, I think um, it's something that we've been good at previously over the last few years and um, something that we're, we're stubborn, we, we just don't want to get beat and um, over the last season I think it's something that we don't want to get beat but we now know how to go and win. So for us it's kind of switching that mentality of not being so defensive but being able to go and be brave and to go and use our philosophy in terms of the football and uh, to go and win as many games as we possibly can. I feel as though that's helped us especially over the last season. And talk to me a little bit about Fran Kirby because there is a lot of hype surrounding her as well and her having that X factor that we spoke about. But she seems to almost play like a little beyond her years. It's hard to believe she is that young. What is so special about her and how does she manage this spotlight? You know what, I think Fran, she's quiet off the pitch and uh, she does so well with all the hype around her But and she's a lovely girl and to have someone like her in your squad who can naturally just change a game uh, by a natural skill and a natural technique is something that there's not many players have got that. The, the only player that really reminds us of her is Kelly Smith and I was lucky enough to play with her and um, she's a game changer so for us as teammates we're lucky to have her in the squad and I know she's worked hard to get at this point. She obviously in 2015 scored our first goal in the World Cup and hopefully she can get us a few more this year. All right, Tony, ahead of this World Cup now, just let me know how you're feeling on a personal level and the entire squad now that you've had some togetherness time. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. Obviously, happy to meet up with the team. Met up a bit late because of the Champions League final, but the girls say they've had a great week and I'm sure we'll continue with our preparation, you know, the same way we always do. Be diligent, disciplined and have some fun along the way and be ready for France. Now, for better or for worse, there is a lot of hype surrounding this England ladies team, and of course, rightfully so. How do you guys manage the expectations you have on you? Do you go in thinking, you know, semi-final, nothing less, or do you just take it game by game? We certainly have to take it game by game. I know we've been open in the media and said we want to win the tournament, and rightly so, because I believe we have the ability in the squad to do that. But it has to be game by game. The most important one for us is Scotland. That's what we're super focused on now. You can't really plan your route in these tournaments. It's impossible because you don't know what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, game by game, first up Scotland, massive game for us. I was going to say, it is a massive game on paper. That is definitely a rivalry that you can't miss. Even though Scotland going as the underdogs, what are you expecting from them? Because I'm pretty sure they are going to be rearing to go after you, ladies. Yeah, they're going to be ready and ready to go. Anyone is in the World Cup, but this adds a little bit more spice to the fact that it's England and Scotland. You know, a couple of the girls are ex-teammates and current teammates, so it'll be interesting, but... I believe we'll be ready. We have to take that emotion side out and we're experienced players now, so we have to put them things aside and just, it's another World Cup game, it's our first one and we need to get off to a good start, but Scotland will be tough, you know, they always are and they'll be no different this tournament.